All right. Welcome, everybody, to Empyreon Galactic Survival. I'm Know-It-All DM, and today I'm going to do another learning zone. Uh, I will be showing you today how to create and link switches and sensors to a base or small vessel. So... I've been asked this question by several people um, around the community uh, as to how to actually create and link switches that can, say, turn lights and such on and off inside the bases. And so I'm going to take you and show you a few simple tricks that I learned on how to create uh, switches and sensors. So to start with, I'm going to start with in here in the garden. Now, for the most part, the garden is a simple garden, but occasionally you want to turn the lights off because, well, you might not be home for a while or whatever. So in order to save electricity, you can add a switch to the wall uh, let me rotate it so that it's down and link it to the lights to turn them on and off. Now, in order to do this, you'll need to, first of all, create the switch, which since I'm in cre sort of creative mode, I just, you know, plopped one on there. Now, in order to link the switch, what you're going to want to do is look at the switch and go into your control panel and then you're going to want to go ahead and auto group everything if you don't have anything like e because now you, even when you auto group it it saves the names and everything which is awesome um the only thing it doesn't save is if you've got it linked to one of the custom switches which we'll get into those later um maybe a different video or it, yeah, it's real simple to link those in there you just simply censor the let's see lights and then change the what shortcut you want and you can turn it on and off here but we're here with the levers so we're going to go garden a now what you're going to want to do since that you're going to la label this switch whatever you want to label it to remind you what it does so this is garden a and then in the signal logic here under the signal you're going to want to go and create a signal that is based off of that uh name now i could have i might have done ga or you know garden guard a or whatever i wanted uh, but now i can look up at the lights and when you are in the signal logic area you can click garden a on these lights and since the switch is off they're off and switch is on they're on and that's just a simple on off switch for lights. You can also, if you wanted, key it to the door. You can use doors to create signals or you can use switches to open and close doors as well. Um, there's a lot that you can do with the signal and switches. The lock unlock I haven't exactly figured out what that does because I think that only works like in multiplayer with multiple factions and it's yeah I don't really do that a lot so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to set up a uh, sensor inside let, let's see if we can go into the dining hall now this is not the dining hall that's the living room this is the dining hall so in the dining hall we have a light up here that's just constantly shining wasting power so what we want to do is add a sensor that will sense when someone is in the room and shut that light off now for sensors it's best to place the sensor on a ceiling or on the one of the furthest walls that you want to be effective because it can't sense anything like a behind or above the sensor. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. I'm going to put the sensor down here. And for the sensor to actually sense, you go into devices and then you can change the things here. What I like to do is the interactive setup and you can see the range at which this sensor affects it 
Now you can change this by holding the control button and going uh, using the number pad left, right, up, down, or and control alt will shrink it. So I like going ahead and shrinking it to the smallest I can. And then of course the five button does the uh, height from the sensor itself. So hold control and press the button and it'll extend it and control alt and press the button and it will uh, shorten it. Now we want this only to encompass the area where you might be walking. I'm going to go ahead and encompass the refrigerator area so that if you're in the, like here, the light stays on. And then we're going to want to extend it out one area there. So now I've got the sensor area encompassing the entire room. So I can go ahead and hit escape and it's done that. Uh, let's go ahead and redo the auto group and do call this uh, dining. And then in the signal logic, dining. Now, I want to key this to dining. So, when I enter the room, the light comes off. When I exit, or comes on, when I exit, the light goes off. Now, I could extend it to here so that the interim room here is like, it lights up when it does that. But, I don't want to do that right now. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So that way you can have sensors where the lights come on and off. Now you'll notice in the uh, signal logic that you've got a follow thing. I always use follow um, with the exception of when we, you are using the light barrier. A light barrier creates a beam of light which will toggle on and off whenever you cross in front of it. Now, just like with the uh, uh, just like with the sensor, the light barrier you can uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this Garden B. Uh, the light barrier you can increase or decrease the range at which the light triggers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this light sensor here and have it going all the way across. And then I'm going to key these to garden B. And you'll notice since I'm in here, when I walk across it, it goes on and off because it's only triggering when I'm in the sensor for this. That's why with these, uh, let's see, where is it? The, with the lights like this, you want to use the toggle or on slash off. So right now, toggle, I walk across the line, it turns them off, walk across it again, it, or turns it on, turns it off. So when I enter, it's off, and then exit, it's on. If somehow I jumped over that beam, which I can't actually do right now, but let's just God mode over it, okay? Now I God mode over it, I'll walk through it again, and of course it shuts it off, and then it comes on when you toggle it. So you can toggle things like a row of doors, or like just, well, anything that you can toggle with sensors and switches, like that. So what I want to do I'm going to switch this to on with this so that anytime that gets tripped, it's on and it'll stay on when it's tripped. But what I want is I want uh, a timer that will shut this off after, say, 10 seconds after the thing has been switched. In order to do that, I'm going to add a delay. So, circuit. Uh, we will call this Garden B. A 10 second delay. GB2. That way, Garden B2 
will activate 10 seconds after garden B does. Now, with these lights, you'll notice that with the on and off, you can only do either on or off. So it'll have to be manually turned off and then turn on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use another circuit and I am going to call this, uh, let's see, what was I going to do? Uh, can't remember what I was going to do. Um, anyway, so we can toggle with GB2 and now let's just go ahead and do that toggle when we go across this nothing happens immediately but 10 seconds later the lights go off and then of course when i cross it again 10 seconds later the lights will come on so if i wanted to do this over 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 the lights come on they're probably just going to stay on now because I, nope, they go off. Okay, on, off, on, <laughs> off, because I was triggering it multiple times. But so you can use these things, they're usually used more for setting up traps and the like than light switches. For example, one thing in creative mode that I tend to use a lot are the explosive blocks. And the reason for this is you can place explosive blocks on a blueprint you make in creative mode and then save it and load it into survival. So an explosive block, you can set to trigger at a certain event, like at, at, at a switch or something like that, which you can also, uh, where is it here? You can also in the main set up signals here that will automatically trigger when you turn it off and on. But let's say for example, with this, I wanted to set up a trap. Okay. Um, uh, let's say I want to set the trap so that when someone enters, the area of this thing, it waits a few seconds and then explodes. So what I'm gonna do, let's see, where would a good place to put the sensor be? Um, I'm just gonna put the sensor right there. And then I'm going to use that sensor and set it up so that it's encompassing the entire thing. And then let's just go a couple higher. Okay. So now it'll toggle this on and off when someone enters here. Let's go ahead and make this all the way out to here. So when someone enters here, it'll toggle. And a few seconds later with the, uh, with a delay, let's see, signal logic. Uh, that motion sensor will be called EXPL delay add circuit triggered by EXPL is boom. We're going to put a five second delay on boom and then I'm going to exit the radius and then I am going to set the explosive block to boom to follow with boom. Now, when I enter this radius, five, four, three, two, one, explosion. So that's just some of the uh, many things that you can do with the sensors and switches. Now I want to show you something that I've done with sensors and switches that's, uh, it's still a work in progress but it is the, uh, it's a fighter that I have been working on. Now this fighter was built for alpha seven 
and uh, let's go ahead. It's got a whole lot of switches and stuff here. Let's turn on Atmo. Atmo on this just lowers or activates the lower thrusters. You'll notice when I turn it off, it turns those off. Um, Atmo also, I, uh, well, it's Atmo. So now, there. So I've got it set so that when you're, uh, when you activate battle mode, all the thrusters activate and the uh, X looking, uh, uh, what do you call them, ramps extend. Now I just did that for, you know, visual effect and turn off battle mode and it goes off. This also has a cruise and stealth mode as well as a utility mode which does various things. Um, the cruise mode shuts off the main, th I'm supposed to turn both of those on. That's, that's, that, hold on. See, obviously I've got a, uh, all right, let's turn cruise mode off. Obviously I've got a malfunction in here. Devices. Battle follow no no what I want I want it to follow the same logic as this one here, which is cruise follow. Cruise follow. There we go. So now when you're in space, you can cut off all your thrusters except the two cruise thrusters, which use less power than the one massive thruster I've got in the middle right now. Um, but right now, just on basic flight mode, which has. Well, it's got Atmo activated, but once I get into space, I'll deactivate Atmo. And we'll just have basic flight mode with a couple of uh, thrusters up and down and then a thruster left and right. So let's head up into space. And this is without the switches, but using the signal logic. Which way do I want to go? This way. Okay, so now we can head out into space and I can activate, deactivate Atmo, activate Cruise, and it'll activate just the rear thrusters and one of the RCSs. And as you see, it just flies in a straight line at a constant speed. Um, you could also cut off I uh, without turning on cruise mode and it won't auto brake, but that uses a lot more power. So, um, I just leave auto brake on and then click on cruise. So it just shuts off the engines that are unnecessary. Now stealth mode will shut off all the engines and the RCSs so that Actually, no, it leaves one RCS on, but it shuts off all the engines and everything so that, you know, if you've got a heat seeking missile, well, which of course, in this case, it doesn't matter because it just seeks the target rather than heat, but you know, whatever. Um, and then utility mode opens up the, uh, the ramps at the bottom and you can see the utilities that, that get, you know, covered up when not in utility mode. And so that's just another thing that I've been doing with sensors and switches. Um, you may also have seen in my, uh, in the multiplayer game, these switches that I used for the small vessel, uh, uh, that we use the, uh, explore the, uh, what was it? EX seven Explorer. And, uh, that's another thing that you can do, but you can do a whole lot with them. Additionally, you've got trapdoors, single uses that just crumble when you walk on them, trapdoor, multiple uses that open when you go past them and everything, and trigger plates, which can be used to activate things. It's, uh, it creates a uh, sensor trigger whenever you're standing on it. So, in any case, that's going to be the quick tutorial on sensors, switches, and stuff like that the signal logic specifically. So I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did hit the like button and if you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. I'm know it all DM. And as always, y'all have a good day.